Hello guys, Buttery Bars here, bringing you to one of my favorite games of all time. You'll be able to see it soon, but if you want to skip the opening cutscene, just click the uh, name of the game below in the layout, and it will skip the opening cutscene for you, since the opening cutscene is rather long. And here it is. Without further ado, one of my favorite RPGs of all time. One that I really wish more people would have played. First time it had great graphics as well, I really love this game. Welcome to Grandia! Now, admire the opening sequence. Two minutes and 15 seconds later, we are finally at the start screen. It was an opening sequence, and the opening cutscene of the game is even longer, so... Now, uh, these are the options for the game. You can standard or reverse the camera, stereo or mono sound, vibration, on or off. So, uh, there's that. And, um, you'll be able to tell right here if it'll overload. I'm gonna do my best to cut out the loading screens and the menu times, because they are rather extensive. I've got two save files, one with 58 hours, one with 19 hours. Both of these are slightly misleading because I leave my PS3 on a lot, and I keep forgetting to exit out of games, so... Anyway, without further ado, let's do this again. With the opening cutscene that's coming up next, all you have to do is click the Grandia logo, and you will skip it. I wouldn't recommend it, though. There is some good story to be had here. As well as some amazing music.
the Eye of Sauron before it was cool. <laughs> yeah, I just love that music so much I didn't even want to talk during it so the volume wouldn't lower. There is a pretty drastic change in the volume, so what I might do in the future is I might just turn that off and see how that works. The way Elgato automatically turns off the volume, turns down the game volume when you're talking. I might turn that off. Anyway, our first example of voice acting. I guess I must have dozed off. This game is really good English voice acting. That dream again. The bastards. They're hounding me. Mullen, where are we now? It's only been a half an hour since you asked last. You look tired, General Ball. I keep telling you, Mullen. When there are no soldiers around, you should call me father. Excuse me, but Lieutenant Lean is still here. Owned. <laughs> it's just like you to answer like that. But you know that Lean is a very special part of our military plans, aren't you, Lean? Answer the man. Or just be quiet. The third excavation of the salt runes is almost finished. I'm counting on you too. Mullen, lean. We've assigned an elite battalion of our forces to this excavation. I'm sure that we'll hear good news. I hope so, unless some meddling kid is involved. The is 1340 hours. Ooh, computers. We are passing through Parm airspace. Our ETA is 1530 hours. Lean, open the viewports for General Ball. Yes, Colonel Mullen. Again, excellent English voice acting for a Japanese game, especially this far in the past. I think, like in the past, the Japanese didn't really expect this game to be ported to America, so I'm surprised they spent such a good amount of time on the English voice acting. Except for Sue, I don't like Sue's uh, voice. Again, I love this music. I'm almost afraid to talk. And here's Parm's music. I love it. It has such an Irish and Scottish feel to it. Huh. Joshua Anderson has subscribed to me. Thank you. And welcome to Parm. Nice little panoramic. Again, for its time, this was incredible visuals. Random soldier checking out the flowers. <laughs> she looks like a main character the way she's running. The way the camera's focused on her. She appears to be looking for something, or someone. Because that doesn't look like a shady back alley where drug deals happen. No, not at all. This is also their way of introducing you to the map of Parm to help you not get lost, but the way they continually rotate the camera doesn't help. Hey, you! Uh oh. This'll teach you, you punk! Oh! Ow! Oh, Justin! Not you again! Hey, my namesake! <laughs> trashing my shit again. I didn't trash it! Why won't you listen to me? <laughs> I'm staking my pride as a man and my soul as an adventurer on this treasure hunt. Shut up! There's no treasure in all that junk! 
One man's junk. Now you've completely trashed it. Ow. Anyway, <laughs> don't ever hunt for treasure in my shed again. You hear me, boy? Ouch. Ouch. That had to have hurt. That awful man, he never ever understands. Justin! My ears. Justin, Justin! You okay? That sounded like it hurt. Oh, <laughs> that looked like it hurt. See that? <laughs> Don't worry. A punch like that, nothing to it. For a first rate adventurer, it comes with the territory. Yeah, just like swords. <laughs> so how'd it go? Did you find anything in the shed? Nah, nothing at all. It really was all junk. Must have guessed wrong. <laughs> but Sue, what about you? Of course I found something. Ta-da! Here it is, the legendary armor. Ooh. I found it all by myself. <laughs> Yay, Puffy approves. Oh, yeah. Justin, the legendary armor. I am now a hero. Da, 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 da. Great, Sue. That's the first one. That leaves the shield of light, the warrior's helmet, and the spirit sword. That's taking longer than I Don't thought. <laughs> we gotta get him by sundown or we'll lose. Hmm. Yuck, I don't want to marry that awful guy. You're 12. No. It's really your fault, Justin. You're the one that took Gons up on his dare. You'd better take responsibility. Okay, I know, I know. Come on, let's go show this to Gons. And we still don't have control of our character. <laughs> anyway, I'm at 12.35, so I think I can get the first part of the tutorial done. We found it, Gons. The first treasure. Yeah, I can get the first part of the tutorial done. It's going to be a bit of a longer video, but I want to at least get this first part done. So, let's go ahead and talk to this asshole. If it isn't Justin, taking your sweet time, aren't you? First-rate adventurer, smencher. Wow, that's a dick. End of the world has been found. No use for adventures. Way behind the times. Yeah. There is no end of the world. Technically, there is. There's no way you're going to find the four treasures before sundown. Duel is as good as one. Okay, so this guy's probably like 14, 15, since he and Justin are kind of going at it. Keep in mind, Sue is 12, so this kid is kind of disgusting. An apron is apparently legendary armor. Anyway, Rick can give you a third aid adventurer clues. I don't need clues to find them, but he will let you know the general area. The helmet is where you all hear the sound of running water, and the shield is where you hear the sound of gold. So... Makes sense that the first part isn't the canal. It's a pot. Ooh, such pot. 420 blaze it. Battered pot, which I could turn into a bong with a little bit of ingenuity. Anyway, the next part of this, if I could... Eh, get there, is at the port, and I just went the wrong way. So much time playing this game in the past few weeks, and I still get lost. And waiting for the loading screen, which I'm inevitably going to start cutting out. Anyway, just go right over here and this shiny thing. And it does kind of look like shield, so yeah, let's pick it up. And potlet acquired. I'm going to go ahead and save it really fast. I'm going to save over my 55 hour one, so I'll see you guys in a second. Alright, we're back and we're all saved up. And loading screen cut out. Wow, that saved a lot of time. Anyway... Now we gotta go back to this D-bag, Gaunts. Right here. Third rate adventurer only found one of the hidden treasures. Yeah, but the thing is, now I got two of them. Guess you got three of them. And the fourth one, I have no idea where it is, apparently, because we didn't see anything that looks like a sword. You have to talk to him again, he'll let you know exactly where it is, the cocky bastard. Treasure chest in your house. Really? Because you have a... A one-room house with no bedroom in this game. How do you have room for a treasure chest? Or money for a treasure chest, for that matter. Anyway, just head over this way. It's near the cafe, I think. Yep, this guy's blocking the way to the cafe. And he's crying his head off. Tense, as you might expect, is the brother of Gaunts. Anyway, 
You have to say you'll tell Gantz and then he'll just panic and tell you that he lost the keys to the treasure chest. How did you know that? Can you read binds or something? Anyway, if you uh, look for the key for him, he'll give you the key because that makes no sense. Anyway, the key is literally right over here. And then he immediately turns back into a bully. <laughs> Never forget this, so I'll definitely remember until the day after tomorrow in true bully fashion. And give it to you anyway, dead it to anyone if I'm going to be a man. Thank you! <laughs> Tell him you'll took it from me by force, because otherwise he'll beat me up. That is brotherly love right there. Anyway, if you follow him along that way, you'll get to his house. So, I know this video is going on long for the first episode of an LP. Just bear with me, it's almost over, I swear. Now, where the fuck's this house? Can't remember where his house is. Ah, <laughs> I know it's somewhere near here. I don't remember where his house is. That's not it. This is the section right here. This house right here is a really funny area, actually, for later. Alright, I'm gonna cut away until I find this bastard's house. Alright, I found his house. It's actually really simple. You just run over this way. And go right here. Doi. Run in the house. Don't even bother to talk to the guy's mom. Knock over the broom. Oh, I can't knock over the broom. Damn it. And now we open the treasure chest and we get... Ta-da! The spirit sword, a wooden sword. It's actually better than the current weapon you have equipped, which is a wood pole, but I want to level up Mace a bit for Justin, so I'll, I'm going to explain in depth the way this game actually works after the this episode, so anyway, now we have to go back to him because, of course, this makes sense. And now he's getting reamed out by adults because he barricaded the road. <laughs> Are you listening? Greg is telling him off. We told Gans to stop blocking the bridge. He's really stupid. Indeed he is. Yep, let's just walk on by because we are completely innocent in all of this and we didn't... Oh, Jesus. No, of course I wasn't playing with him. Surely you jest. Such adult talk. Of course I wouldn't. There's no way I'd be playing with Justin. A duel? Oh, shit. Bust it. Make a break for it. <laughs> Fuck yeah. Screw the authorities. It's not like they're going to chase you anyway. They're not programmed to do that. There's too much processing involved <laughs> currently. I really wish an HD remake of this game had been made. That's one of my biggest wishes, like, ever. Made it! Didn't have to get that mad. All the regular things you do are bad. That's why no one believes you. Anyway, I'm not going to go ahead and, um talk to this guy's mother yet because that'll advance the plot and this video is just about Omar over but let me go ahead and show you a few things first just a stashing place where you can put items that you can't sell or don't want anymore you can't sell the apron you can't sell the pot and you can't sell the lid so yeah go ahead and get rid of those and one last thing is in Justin's room there's a few items you can get that most people just gloss over well the first one's easy enough get a first aid kit here because it's inside the chest and then you go in this Find some uh, money. I'm not sure how much it is. And uh, I think the next part is near the desk. No, that's not it. Come on. There's something over here. Ah, here it is. Near the bed. You can get an antidote, which is quite useful. But anyway, I'm going to go ahead and end the episode off here. It has been 19 minutes, which is really long for a first episode of an LP where I'm going to try to keep every episode under 15 minutes. But yeah. If you guys enjoyed the uh, video, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe as per usual. And again, guys, as always, take care.